If knee pain makes it difficult for you to get up and down from the floor, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to show you a way that you can get up from the floor without putting pressure on your knees. Now, I've done other videos on how to get up and down from the floor, and largely for most people, I would recommend crawling over to something, stepping up like this, and then pressing up using your legs. But if you have knee pain, it can be painful either kneeling on this knee and or pressing up with this knee. Additionally, if you wanna go do something like have a picnic in a park or sit on the beach, you may not have something to crawl over to to help you with balance. So this is an alternative technique that you can use to get up from the floor without having to put pressure on your knees. Now with any technique, there are some gives and takes, and there are some compromises that you have to make with this particular technique. If you have wrist osteoarthritis, you do have to put some pressure through your wrists and hands. Additionally, it requires a little bit of upper body strength, not a ton, and probably the biggest thing is that it requires you to be able to move your hips a little bit quickly. And there's a practice technique that I'll show you at the end of this on how you can practice this. But I would recommend as you're doing this for the first time that you have someone around that can help you get up from the floor if you need it, either a child or a physical therapist like myself. So here's how you do the technique. You wanna start out in a cross-legged position somewhat like this. And I'm leaning up against the couch here, but you don't need to be leaning up against anything. Just get to a position where you have your legs crossed somewhat like this. If you're down on the floor, then come up to a sitting position and get one ankle crossed over the other. You can do it either way, but it is directional dependent. So whichever ankle you have crossed over top, you're going to go away from that leg to get up. And what this technique requires is getting your hips up quickly in order to help you stand up. So there is a little bit of a speed component involved but you don't have to put any pressure on your knees. So you'll take your hands and put them over to the side. And you can do this in a number of different ways. It's probably easiest initially to spread out a little bit because this will require the least speed. So what you're gonna do with this, you have one leg crossed over the other, you have your hands here, and then you're just gonna move your hips from here up to here as quickly as possible by pivoting around your ankles and your hands. So you're gonna kind of tuck your head down this way while throwing your hips up. So I'll show this at full speed and then I'll break it down more step by step. So what you're gonna do here is come up like that and then you walk up to a standing position. Now to break that down again, you're gonna cross one ankle over the other Put your hands on the floor. Then you're going to use your head sort of as momentum going down that way. And as your head goes one way, your hips pop up the other way. Then you're going to swivel around your ankles so that this foot plants on the floor. And at the same time, you're going to shift your bottom up this way. And the faster you do it, the easier it is. But again, practice this with someone around the first time. So you're going to go like that, then walk your hands up to you and come up to a standing position. Now you can go back down sort of in the reverse of that if you have trouble getting on the floor, just putting your hands down in a position like this, sliding one leg out and swiveling back down. So you can actually make this a little bit easier to stand up where you don't have to crawl quite as much but it requires a little bit more speed. So instead of spreading out like this, you're gonna come into a little bit more compact of a ball. You're gonna put your hands down this way. So you're coming in a direction like that. And then you're gonna to have to pop your hips up a little bit faster, but it doesn't require as much on the back end. So to do that technique, you're gonna put your hands a little bit closer, swivel, and then you're almost up at that point. You don't have quite as much of a walk. And to see that from the other side, if you wanted to cross the other ankle over, then you'd be going this way. 
So again, you can kind of spread out initially so that it doesn't require as much speed. Swivel up and then walk up to a standing position. You can swivel back down. Now, to stand back up more in that compact position, you're going to curl up into a tighter ball. Put your hands a little closer to your knees. Pop up like that. And then come up. So those were some tips to help you get up and down from the floor without having to put as much pressure on your knees. Now, if you try that and it's too difficult for you, you can always go over to something, come up into a half lunge position and push up that way, which again, for most people is the default that I would recommend. But if you have too much pressure on your knees doing that, this is an alternative technique that you can use. Now I've got another video showing that technique and I'll put a link to that right over here. Additionally, you can check out our knee pain relief playlist for more tips to help relieve knee pain. But before you go, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.